Hello, my name is Caleb Borden, and today I'm going to be showcasing my block mesh level Minotaur's Might. I'm going to go through the three different paths the players have here. First, we're going to go through the westmost path. Looking in right here, players will have small little relics across the map glowing with this red aura, or this yellow aura. The westmost path takes players around the west perimeter, taking them through the basin room, allowing them access to the courtyard through here. While going through these areas, players will also have to avoid patrolling uh, minotaurs that will also pursue players if they spot them. Another relic here. Coming through here we see our first activation area for the relics. This will activate a relic power. This is These are just simple puzzles. Um, the eyes will initially glow red until the person gets the puzzle right and then they'll glow green or gold, like a goldish green. The puzzle here is just a symbol puzzle where players have to get the sequence proper. So it's a Sigma Theta Delta, players will have to light this lantern here, and then this lantern running all the way back here to get the Delta Lantern to advance past this activation area. Going through here, players will finally be able to get to the throne room where the king is going to be hiding. In here, the players will be able to interact with the king and have them start following them. Players will be able to press a specific button to have the king follow them or have the king stop. This will be useful when trying to get past certain patrolling guards and memorizing their patterns. Throughout the level, there are these blocks on the floor these are destructible walls that are filling in the areas right here. Players will be able to pick up these lit oil jars and throw them at the walls to destroy them. Currently I just have a master field over top uh, destroying them on play, on, a, on begin play. Coming around here I use the jars to point the player in the right direction instead of having the player feel like they need to go out here to look around. This is just a balcony, a random balcony that I used to add in a little bit more space and aesthetic to the courtyard. Coming up here, this is the exit way that leads the player to the west corridor, the west exit. Coming right here, players will trigger a trigger event that will begin a sequence showing them running out and exiting before the Minotaurs fully take over and destroy the palace. All right. Restarting here, I'm going to take you through the next route, which will be the central route. The central route players can take will lead them straight through the middle of the play area here and take them straight through the courtyard. This is one of the more linear routes that players can take. However, while in the courtyard, players will need to destroy this, this doorway to get into the throne room right here. Players are also able to, if they want to try to evade the boss's attacks, go back here and get another relic, another collectible. Uh, around here I have just these piles of bodies showing that this Minotaur, the boss Minotaur came in and defeated a bunch of the citizens that were residing in the palace. I have the jars here pointing over towards where the player needs to head, the throne room over here. If players aren't able to get this destroyed and they just want to go for perhaps like a speed run they are able to run around go into the throne room through the hallway talk to the king and then guide the king simply out the same direction that we led the first time going up through here and to our exit right up in here right up to the west corridor that will lead us to that trigger sequence again that will show the player exiting out properly. Alright. That 
that pathway offers a more speedy and expedited approach if players want to get to the objective as quick as possible they might take the courtyard route but it's going to be the more dangerous route for them since they are going to have to encounter the boss instead of some smaller minotaurs that they can maneuver around by hiding behind walls going the left route the left route might be more suitable for players that want to actually observe the level discover and explore coming into the storage room here the first spot players will be able to interact with this NPC here who will give a quest for them to go help him find his lost cat and help him escape. So players will walk around this area listening out for any noises that might sound like a cat. Players will be able to run up here, use this staircase to get up top, and they have wood planks across. You can see that there's a cat over there. And players are able to come up, collect the cat, and they will have to either leap down, walk down, take the path they came back down, and return to the owner. After that, the players will be able to explore more. This being another destructible wall with the oil lantern right there. The players can destroy this, come in here, and find another relic. Although this room is covered by two guards, two other guarding minotaurs. Coming through here, players are able to grab another oil lantern and break this wall. Coming in through this way, players will be able to find another activation area where they will activate the, their powers. So this is another puzzle area where players just have to rotate the axes to form a perfect X like that upright. So for this instance, players will come over here and interact and it will rotate this axe 90 degrees one way 90 degrees until players want it to be want it to stop where they want it to stop and once the they're all in the right position the eyes of this statue will glow green and players will be able to interact and choose whether they want a uh, the shadow ability or the haste ability the shadow ability allows players to be hidden in a shroud of darkness which will hide the players from sight of the patrolling minotaurs or they can use the haste ability which will just give players a normal speed boost coming through here these are just more areas the players can walk around discover if the players don't want to don't choose to come in through this way they're still able to go back go through the war room they can break this wall right here in the war room and this will take them through the courtyard and through the courtyard they can either break through this wall in here or go around the same way that we went the first time players are also able on this route to go an alternative route above by taking this stairwell they can take this stairwell up and go explore through here this will drop the player back down into this bull fresco room coming around here just some more areas for the players to walk around and explore if for instance a player wants to go exploring they're able to find various nooks and crannies in this in this level coming through here players will be able to go to another destructible uh, wall a destructible floor in this instance and throw a, a oil jar at it, destroying it, and being able to drop down in here, even collecting this relic in the corner here, and then communicating with the king, interacting with him, and taking him through that same route that we went through on the other two routes. Coming up through here, going up the stairwell into the west entrance, having that one final look at the minotaur, that one final Hurrah that we got past this hulking beast and leading us up into the west entrance where we will hit a trigger volume here and it will finish with a level sequence of us escaping the level.